Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing a little bit of organization. This is one of my drawers in my station that's full of glitters and pigments and foils and all sorts of nail art things. And as you can see, it needs a little bit of organization. I have a lot of these loose glitters and baggies that I want to put into some containers and get this drawer a little bit more organized. So to start off, I bought some little jars on Amazon. I believe it was Amazon. Yeah, I got these little jars off of Amazon. They were really inexpensive. And then I also bought some labels so that I can write the names of whatever I put in the jars on the bottom. And I believe my total with the jars and the labels was like around $13. So it's really an expensive way to help you get organized, especially if you have kind of little baggies of things. I, it's really hard to use glitter out of a baggie. It's a lot easier to use it out of a jar. So I'd much prefer it to be in jars. So first I have a Cordoza nail supply glitter. It doesn't have a name on it. It just says glitter sample, but it's really pretty. Got some blues and silvers and a little bit of pinks in there. So I am going to put that in the jar. And this one bag actually filled up two jars, which is pretty cool. There is my glitter. And then I'm just going to write on the labels, I'm going to write Cordoza so I know where they came from. Uh, but like I said, this particular glitter doesn't have a name on the bag, so I'm just going to write Cordoza. And then I'm going to stick the label on the bottom of the jar. These are some snowflake glitters, and these are from Wildflowers. Um, I thought these were pretty cool. I can't wait to use these for winter. These are going to be fun to do like embedded snowflakes in the nails. And then for wildflowers, I just put a WF on the label. These are also from wildflowers. These are the green polka dot glitters. Then next are all these little samples from dollarnailart.com. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here. So I am going to actually label the jars first and then start filling the bags in the jars. So we have blue stars, we have blue sequins, silver squares, some silver stars, Some silver holographic hearts, which are really cute. Some, I think these are the blue hexagons. They're almost like a teal blue. Next is the Too Much Fun Crimson Heart Glitters. These are really pretty. And then we also have another Cordo Cordoza Nail Supply Glitter. Again, it doesn't have a name on it. And these two baggies of glitter are from socialclaws.com. Um, I got a little sample when I ordered some of the Luminara Chrome Powder. These are really cute. You could put this over a silver glitter or you could use these individually like polka dots. This next one is from Elite Beauty Supplies, and this one's a super, super fine holographic powder, like super fine. I, I don't think it's a chrome powder, but I might have to double check. Um, this one's from Beauty Big Bang. This is their, I believe it's like their mermaid or dragon scale glitter. This next one is Artigl Artiglo. This is the color Jewels, which is a really pretty holographic glitter. And I'll show you a comparison of that last holograph holographic glitter that I had, so you can see the difference of how fine that Elite Beauty Supplies one is. This 
This is Tammy Taylor Midnight Sky Glitter. And this jar is humongous, which is why I'm putting a little bit into one of the smaller jars because this jar is huge. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever use a glitter that big. This next one is the Luxa polish and this one is in the color plum and again it's another huge jar which I really don't want to have in my drawer because it just takes up so much space. Then I also have some of these bullion beads or micro beads and they came in this tube. This is from Cordoza Nail Supply um, Elegant Glass Nails brand and I just wanted to put some in the jar because it's impossible to use these out of this tube. And I had a couple more that I found that I had in kind of a big uh, jar with some different colored stars and hearts. So I just threw those in a couple different jars. So here's all of the loose glitters that we filled in these little jars. I'm super happy. Uh, definitely more organized than having just a whole bunch of baggies that you're trying to go through. It's a lot easier to find the glitters that you want. And here is the final result. I found this. It's actually a silverware organizer from Ikea, but it fits into the drawer perfectly. There is one compartment in the back that you can't get to unless you pull the container out. So I just got some random stuff in there. I got all my glitters separated into colors, and then I have all my foils on one side, and I have my sponges and my little containers definitely more organized and I'm going to start working on the rest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like these organization videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks. Bye.